Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Let's talk about ATER. So ATER today down by 12.77%. It really has been a red day across here, but that can be said for a lot of our other uh, stocks in this sector. We just looked at BBIG on the channel a few minutes ago. That was in the red by about 10% now. So you can see a few of our stocks in this quote unquote short squeeze sector are coming down today by another big amount. And again, here with ATER, the story is somewhat similar on the five day in the sense that we're seeing a red week. The past month now isn't looking too good now with ATER. Yeah, we are still up from our uh, starting point on the 7th of September. Sorry, the, yeah, the 7th of September. But obviously you can see we are now coming quite low to comparison of where we were. We started off the month on a point down here of about 7.29. Currently we're on 8.46. We've only got about a dollar twenty to go. And it's not impossible that we could see drops to that level, you know, if we do have something like this continue in the future. Now for this one. I want to take a look at my opinion on this and I also want to give a bit of a technical analysis at the end because I think what we are seeing now across the market, especially with these quote unquote meme stocks, it, it definitely does get you thinking about what's going on and what we should be doing going forward. So before we do fully enter a few things which I must disclose with you guys, uh, please do subscribe of course, thank you for joining me tonight as well by the way, uh, yeah but please do subscribe to the channel, it would be massively supportive, share this video with your friends and family if you enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, on top of that, I want to also reiterate that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I thoroughly recommend you do your own research, especially with ATER, because this, like a few of our other stocks which we've looked at tonight, I see it as an extra risky investment because, you know, with it being a short squeeze stock, quote unquote, it could go either way, you know, depending on how the retail interest does go as well. And I'm going to talk about that in a second too, because I do think it is an integral part to seeing a short squeeze on any stock because of course it does require things from both sides. But now that I've said that we're going to get into the video and I will explain what I mean. So we're going to look at the technicals first actually uh, because it just gets it out of the way. We can see here on the one day chart we're starting a moving average of 860, a little bit higher than where we are right now. You would expect that it lags behind and this is also seeing a bit of a drop towards the end of day. Set on an RSI of 35, 15 points away from being oversold. So it is coming down there for sure, uh, but yeah, it does still have a way to go to be an oversold technically. The MACD down here is negative at the moment, and it does appear to be getting a bit worse. The five-day chart down here is on 849, sorry, 889 for a moving average. It's again above where we are right now because of that sell-off and the lag that you would expect. The RSI figure down here, sat on 36, so again, quite low. And this trend down here on the MACD did appear to become bullish for a little bit. It, you know, came quite close, but now it could be dipping a bit further with that dip towards the end of the day. Uh, on the one month chart, you can see we're almost touching that moving average in the past 50 days. So the 50 day MA, we're coming very close to that now. Uh, we're sat on the RSI figure down here at 45, so only five points away from neutral. Not too bad at all. Uh, we are sat down here on the MACD at 1. And you know, as far as looking at the share price actually goes, uh, in the past we have found a little bit of a support here, as you can see around $10 exactly, found it a little bit here, certainly did find it here and here, and actually uh, found it a little bit lower down here as well. But also this support down here, which would be about $9.50 if not $8. We've come lower than that today, I do believe, so we're coming very close to a new level of support that we would be needing to find, and where that could be at the moment, I am just unsure. We've broken past $8.50 as you can see, which is quite unfortunate too. Again, where we move to now is still on clear on the one day chart you can see uh, we don't be, we don't really appear to be seeing any redemption as far as the share price is coming no consolidation towards the end of the day actually just a steeper dip so you know we don't really have anything to go off yet as to when the sell-off is going to end and like i said it has been going on for the past five days so one thing that we could take away from what we are seeing across this quote unquote and i must say quote unquote because i don't really like the term this quote unquote short squeeze stock sector what we've seen across this we've seen a little bit of a bearish phase i do believe how long this goes on for and which stocks do survive it i am not sure because one thing that i'm going to say for sure in my opinion i do not think all of these short squeeze stocks are going to survive this you know this bearish phase i think a few of these are going to get interest lost by retail investors i think for some of them that's completely fine because not all of them are the best uh 
you know, even for short squeeze targets, I don't think all of them are very good. I think some of them do have that potential. I think ATER here does have that potential. But, you know, the more and more short squeeze plays that we do have, the more and more the community does become divided. And as I said, one thing that we do need, in my opinion, for a short squeeze to actually work is, simply put, interest from shorts. Yeah, we've got that. Fair enough. We need interest from longs as well. And my question with this sell-off is, how many longs are we going to lose or are we going to lose longs at all? I know that some people are getting tied with ATER, and I do understand that. Of course, the DD with ATER is not as strong as it has been with AMC and GME. That's fine as well. Uh, but one thing that we do need, I think it is an integral part, like I said, to this short squeeze sector as a whole. We need that interest from retail investors to continue. So that's going to be fundamental for ATER going forwards. You guys will know that I always talk about this because I do think it is important. I do think it is worth mentioning. So coming over to Twitter, we don't really have too much to talk about as well. We have a little bit of an increase in the short interest today. Not too big really at all, uh, but yeah, it's still going up if you were wondering. And it is still very, very high as well. So will we continue to have that data coming in from the uh, from the retail, you know, putting the pressure on the shorts? I do hope that we do. And I do hope that continues because if it does, we could be in a perfect storm for having a short squeeze on the stock. If it doesn't continue and if we do not see the interest from retail, my question is what's coming next for ATER? Ultimately, are we going to see more red? I think it's absolutely possible because of, you know, just what's going on in the market as a whole today and in the past weeks. It's certainly very unclear what's going to happen in the future. The future is looking quite uncertain. So I don't know what's going to happen for the stock. I, do know what's, I don't know what's going to happen for the markets as a whole. But I think a bearish phase could be coming for the market, you know, whether it be a small time period or more of a long time period. I am not sure. But will ATER survive it? I am not sure either. I do hope it does because it does have the prime, uh, the prime potential actually for a short squeeze in my opinion. But yeah, that's only my opinion, and I am not a financial advisor. Thank you for watching this video, though. I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon